Welcome to episode 20 of our YouTube series on the Net Zero Desert Comfort Experience. We're out here on site, we're looking at the Legacy LP product here on the deck, along with the liquid, liquid applied flashing, as well as the tape. We did two different scenarios here. We're gonna have our guest, Mark La Liberté. So questions or comments, make sure and put those below and make sure to subscribe to our channel. So we're out here, this is Net Zero Desert Comfort Experience with here with Mark La Liberté from Construction Instruction. And as a builder, you know, big fan of LP and the legacy, but why are we doing that here on this project? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, question, you know, when I look at LP, I looked at the fact that they've tried to be more than a OSB manufacturer because they've tried to create diversity in their product line. You know, a lot of people are, are familiar with the reflective barriered product. The weather logic that we're using here, especially as you can see on the exterior that's facing uh, the desert here, and we have as we have wind come in, it, it's a great product for that. I know we also have the flame block. On the other side. Helps on the other side. Right. So if we have any fires out here, since you have this protective preserve behind us here, but as far as the legacy, yeah, talk about that. Yeah, I mean, I looked at OSBs and I thought about this being the deck for the for the house. And the nice thing about this is it's got a, uh, a limited lifetime warranty on it. And I want this to be both the air barrier for the house, as well as a good water control layer when should anything get to the surface. So you can see that we used uh, a special product. It's a LP sponsored product, but it's a, it's a seam sealant, which is a liquid applied. We also have on the other side, we have an acrylic applied tape, but sealing the seams, I think we're seeing more of that as to what it does to give us multifunction. And um, the idea is that Legacy has this incredible product, it's called Gorilla Glue. Many of us are familiar with the stuff you they buy. It. Yeah, I got a logo on there. And the stuff that you can put on uh, uh, mechanically in other applications, they decided to, to blend a relationship with, uh, with LP and Gorilla Glue to say, let's make a OSB that's incredibly tough. Well, you can see the sturdiness when you talk about tough I mean speak to like a normal OSB that you're going to be buying off the shelf from any box store or even lumber yards as opposed you know when it's sitting on the weather and rain and conditions of a job site right because it's not like we install this and I'm already covering it you know exactly. in, in, in one day it takes some time out there it's so true you know we look at conventional OSB a 716 there's a lot of varieties and there's multiple manufacturers but usually everybody knows what it looks like after it sits out in the rain and the sun right. so it gets wet dries gets wet dries all of a sudden those layers start to kind of lift up and this stuff has been bulletproof and so I, I'm going to leave it exposed for a while before we get the roof on it, right? We've got a SIP panel going on top and then a roof layer going over it. Just to have something that feels like this is um, a lifetime product feels amazing. And it seems like the differential in price is so small in relationship to something as significant as your sheathing. Mm -hmm. I want to invest in something that feels as robust as everything else. We use micro lambs and LVLs and all the things we put into the building to then not quite go all the way with the OSB when it's the skin seems to be a, a choice we would try to make better. Especially in, you know, when you're building multi-level homes or two and three story. Great example. As you have subfloors that are more sturdy, that aren't water damaged, you're in rainy climates. Right. Even in Phoenix, you know, as dry as it is, it gets wet, it gets it damaged, and it's, a, you know, for that security and sound, you know, and the durability for our clients, as you mentioned, it's not a big price difference, but it goes a long way. You bet. And then there's a, there's ways that, uh, you know, for the waterproof, as you mentioned, we have the waterproof membrane, but we also have the tape function that we can show you. Exactly. Like when we have the, uh, the WeatherLogic product, which is their blue exterior sheathing skin product. We did both the fluid applied and the tape on those seams as well. But think about your exterior sheathing as well. That can act as a kind of water control layer initially. And then we probably put a rain screen over the top of that. And then we use the tech shield on the uh, roof deck and the other casita as a reflective radiant barrier. So there's just this nice mix of durability and performance that we also have always looked at this as nothing more than a 716 sheet of wood. And now they, they take on a, a higher function, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, let's go over to the tape side. Sounds great. So now we're on the other portion, the higher roof here, and you can see that we had the gray waterproof membrane down below for the which, which is a which is a fluid, fluid applied. applied, and then here we have the tape. 
Now the tape is an acrylic based tape, very aggressive. Um, in most of the applications, I actually sprayed a primer on some of it to then check the difference between a, a primer and just putting the acrylic down and the tape held up beautifully. You do have to roll it and really engage the adhesive, but I think it's incredible. And why we did some pressure washing up here of, uh, of the ICF wall to get ready to accept the weather barrier, um, the water sat on the top and we just broomed it off the top. It actually acted like a roof membrane. It was pretty cool. So another important detail as you look here, as Mark was mentioning, we have the waterproofing because we're going to have the sips over the legacy. So talk about just that detail and the challenge it can be for us builders when you have a parapet, which are, I love modern homes, but the parapet is always something that gives me cause for concern. I totally agree. And flat roofs give us cause for concern. So even in a climate, like you said, in Arizona, you know, six to eight inches of rain a year, we're still worried about that. Flat roofs have to be designed and realize that should any water go through, so oftentimes I'll fly into Phoenix and look down and there's blue tarps on right. flat roofs, right? Yeah. So the idea is to say, I want to protection layers. So what we did here is we have the legacy coming down. We then liquid flash the joint between the legacy and the ICF. Then the weather protection layer came down and then embedded into the uh, flashing at the bottom, which is a Prosoco uh, fast flash. And then on the top of the wall, which is often, like you said, the parapet, this is basically an ICF parapet. On the top, we put a, a really nice big 18 inch wide membrane. It goes over the top and then goes on to the uh, weather bear. So everything is shingle fashioned to drain out. Now, when the SIPS comes up, structure insulated panel will come up about 12 inches. And then we'll make sure that we flash onto the SIP panel. A TPO roof will go on that, but this just gives us a layer of added protection. Anybody, any water that would ever get through the system, and we hope it never does, right. gets to a location where it's there incredibly durable and could provide a lot more sustainability to, if it gets a little damp for one particular storm or another, I think it's gonna be able to handle that. Well, and the best part is even at this stage of construction with the ICF, with the waterproof you've done, you've water tested this as you were putting some flashing outside and no water is coming to the house. It's amazing. Yeah, we tried this in, indirectly. We actually put water on top to do that. And it was amazing how nothing went through to the layer down below, which is a testament both to the legacy and to the taping of the seams. Such an easy process. No one would really ever do this. But when you look at it, you're like, Hmm. It seems like a good idea. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Difference. Seems we to make a difference. In the long run. We like in the long run. This yeah. is a hundred year life building plus. So these seem like little steps, but I think they're the ones that in the long run uh, really help the house maintain its longevity. So in addition to the waterproofing, make sure to tune in our YouTube channel. Of course, our guest, uh, Mark LaLibre today, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And you're going to see some amazing details in regard to waterproofing as well as the structural integrity of this net zero house. Yes. Awesome.